Alright guys, so I haven't done one of these, and that is the good old-fashioned video before I do to go to work. And yeah, today instead of a trailer, because usually those happen, and that what's, uh, that's what sparks me to do these videos before work, because they show up at like 10.30, I'm rambling. Anyway, um, this is going to be a review of, of TMNT Power Rangers 2, the much-anticipated uh, sequel to the just awesome uh, TMNT Power Rangers 1, because 1 comes before 2, you see. It's math. Um, so yeah, this is a comic that came from my good friend Chris. Chris, thank you once again for the comic. And yeah, so you may be wondering, how do you top, you know, how do you top Power Ra the first Power Rangers Ninja Turtles crossover, which is one giant apology letter for the In Space cr Next Mutation crossover? Like, how do you top that, really? Like, what do you do, what could you possibly do to do better, like, to do more? Well, I'll tell you. Um, you do it again, but with more. <laughs> like, you just go, like, you know, having uh, Bebop and Rocksteady go from giant and have, like, the tur uh, the, per the turtles become Power Rangers. You they just went... Uh, Ryan Parrott and the artist Dan Mora, who most of you guys would know best, he's been currently doing the artwork for World's Finest and some other DC Comics events. He's probably... he's quickly... Dan Mora's quickly becoming one of my favorite artists, and I didn't realize... I totally forgot he was on this, um comic so to see dan mora in the artwork here is awesome um but yeah so this comic um the this comic goes like i said to a it, it, the first comic went to 11 this one said we're at 11 but now we're gonna go to 22 <laughs> like that's it so the story is is that six months have passed since um shredder and rita vanished after the events of the first uh, story. They traveled to Dimension X, obviously, to meet Krang, and now Casey has gone missing. But not just them, uh, but not just him, other Turtle and Power Ranger villains are vanishing. It turns out that Rita and now Krang are gathering forces for an invasion from Dimension X, which leads to not only that, and they're making an alliance of both Turtle and Power Ranger villains. But not only that, Casey is now working for them as Ranger X. That's right, there were actually Power Rangers in Dimension X. So we now have the uh, the X uh, the Dimension X Rangers. Or we did. But that's how uh, like Krang knows about Power Rangers because he killed them in Power in Dimension X. So the, so the Turtles and the Rangers have to unite under new circumstances to stop this new alliance, even teaming up with the Shredder to do it. So this comic is awesome. This takes everything that you loved about the first book and goes, yeah, let's go further. Like, it turns up that dial past 11, like I said. It just goes, let's do everything more. We have more fights. We have more character interactions. Rem this is what I like about when they do sequels to crossovers is, like, they always have, like, that there's an establishment now. And what I like here is that it's not like, oh, Turtles, we gotta team up again. It's more like, no, they've been hanging out. The Turtles and the Rangers aren't, uh, like, in this continuity, they exist in the same universe. This New York and Angel Grove exist in the same universe. So they're like, yeah, why don't we just network, man? <laughs> the tur Like, literally, the Turtles and um, the Rangers, after the first crossover, were like, let's just network, dude. So now the rain, uh, the uh, the turtles can hang out in Angel Grove with these hollow forms that make them look human, and uh, the Rangers can train with like Splinter. There's all and there's some actually what I also love, and I'm gonna go more in detail with the book, but there's actually like some great stuff that like everyone it's the questions everyone has in the fandom, but this comic actually like answers those questions. Like there's actually a great conversation between Splinter and Zordon while they're playing chess. It's a, yeah, Zordon's like on a little hollow thing and he's like moving it himself. He's like moving it with his mind or something. But Splinter and Zordon have this great conversation where they're talking about like, yeah, we made our children into soldiers and we, you know, like, we wi like, we wish these circumstances were better. So whatever happens, that's on us. Like, whatever becomes of, the, you know, we just wish we could give them a normal life. Like, Zordon, a lot, like, Zordon loves the, the Rangers as his own. So. 
he's like he actually has like that whole thing of I wish I didn't have to do it because like now there's these crisis going on. Not only that, there's like a great moment where Casey, who is Ranger X, um, is like talking to Rita and Krang, and he's like, you know, I always wondered. You guys have all these like armies and unstoppable forces. Why do you care so much about Earth? You could just go somewhere else. If this planet was so much of a pain in the ass, why do it? And like. Rita and Krang have this moment of, you know, like, Krang just says, it's more of pride, really, like, I got, like, I have nothing else, I don't care about this fucking planet, I just, it's for pride, that it's the principle, it's the principle of the matter, um, and Rita's just like, yeah, I guess I, I didn't think about that, there's, like, there's such great little moments that kind of talk about with both fandoms that you don't really, like, there are things that, like, we don't really talk about in, in other stuff. And Riot Parrot has such a great voice for both, because obviously he's doing the Power Ranger comics at Boom Studios now, but, like, he clearly loves the Turtles, too. Like, he clearly gets the camaraderie of the Turtles. He understands the, uh, the dialogue, the complexities. He has a vo great voice for everybody. I didn't talk about that in the first crossover, but he, cl he clearly has a great voice for all of the characters. And is some of the stuff ridiculously stupid? Yeah. Is it, uh, do you care? Fuck no. I will say that, like, out of the Ranger crossovers, because we haven't really had a lot yet, we've had Justice League, we've had two, uh, we've had two now with, with Ninja Turtles, and we've also had Godzilla. Godzilla is still like this, I still say Godzilla is the best, and with Justice League being the weakest of those crossovers. But there in the middle are these two beautiful little crossovers. I will say that the ending is a little fat, it like kind of wraps up a little too quick, but you don't care. That's the thing. Like, it, it, like it's kind of like an episode where everything ends real fast. Like, it, I thought about it, I was like, yeah, it's like an episode. It's like an episode of Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles where they just wrap up the, the ending super fast in the last 20 minutes. Um,. <laughs> and it ends on a really good cliffhanger that yeah i really hope we get a trilogy and i uh, like i know this so i heard this sold really well so i really hope brian parrot gets to finish the trilogy and also did you think i wasn't going to talk about the mutant ninja rangers teenage mutant ninja rangers teenage mutant ninja rangers teenage mutant ninja rangers heroes in heroes in the morphing grid it's morphing time <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so the ninja, uh, the mutant ninja rangers is awesome. I hope we get toys of those. I like we. I know we got Power Ranger Ninja Turtle toys, so I hope we get mutant ranger toys, especially the Green Ranger. The Green Ranger comes like the dra a version of the Dragon Zord, and he's and everyone's like, so you're a dragon now. And he's like, yep. You know dragons aren't real, right? And he's like, mm-hmm. So why are you a dragon? I don't know. <laughs> I just, I really like that. Um, but yeah, this is a, this was an excellent follow-up to an excellent first crossover. And I can't wait to see how the trilogy ends, especially with that cliffhanger. Great stuff. There's even like some fun moments like Bebop and Rocksteady meeting Bulk and Skull. Um, you have like a new design for Rita. And also, can I just talk about the artwork real quick? Can I just like... Like, really, let me... Like, just look at this artwork from Dan Mora. Like I said, he's becoming one of my favorite artists for a reason. So, yeah. Do I recommend TMNT Power Rangers 2 or Power Rangers TMNT 2? Um, yes. Yes, I do. I uh, Is that even a question? Like uh, like I've said throughout this entire review, this takes everything that uh, that was great about the first crosser and goes, "Okay, that again, but make it uh, but go but go further." So yeah. I highly recommend this Chris. Thank you so much for sending this comic to me. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this um and uh, I am Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.